a lot of this is actually, I trace a lot of it to capitalism. I'll be completely honest with you. I think the way in which um, people that are struggling with mental health illness, and even probably a lot of the mental health illness comes from having to work in this capitalist system. I've come to learn uh, that while I might be unique and everyone is unique, I've absolutely learned that. Not everyone's like me. Not everyone feels the same as me. But everyone has their own unique struggles and their own unique you know, differences, things that come easy to them, things that are hard for them. And that does not fit in well with capitalism. You know, capitalism is looking to accumulate capital. The people with capital, you know, your bosses, the people that own the company, they, they're going to make money by having consistent output. Uh, almost certainly, that is... That's, that's the way they look at it. They want, you know, a cog in the machine. They want to be able to just plug you in. They don't want to have to deal with all this. They don't want to have to deal with the human aspect. And so my experience at this point is if you are someone struggling with these mental health issues, the way that you participate and interact with society is companies will take you in, but if you start struggling with this stuff you're probably not going to start getting promoted as easily. And you may be on the chopping block, you know, sort of at the front of the line uh, when, when the company is not doing as well. So the way I see it is capitalism traps you. You have to make money to pay rent, to eat food, to exist in this society. You have to. If you want to be a part of the society in any sort of normal way, you have to do this. But the way in which you do this, and especially in software, it you know, working a normal employee position, it's it's a cog in the machine. As a programmer, you know, the boss, the owners, there is nothing that's gonna make them more money than you being a cog in the machine. If they can pluck any programmer off the street, plug them into their machine and have them write lines of code, produce things on a consistent basis, that's gonna make them the most money. And so it creates, I think, this system in which if you aren't somebody that naturally fits well into that system, you're always going to be, you might get in, but you're going to get kicked out. You know, you're going to go in and out. It's going to be a struggle. And I personally think a large source of this just comes down to capitalism and the way capitalism works. Capital, ca- capital is here to accumulate capital. Capital doesn't care about your mental health issues and it's not profitable to have you know, like the most profitable thing is if a company only hires people that don't have mental health issues. And I, I think it's a little more complicated because probably at this point, everybody does to some extent in some way or another. Um, I think for reasons related to society again. Uh, but basically the minimizing that is going to be your most profitable thing. Um, but there's a huge advantage to having essentially, I think of it as almost like a second class, a class of society that they're not going to necessarily fit into this machine perfectly, but they're super useful still because, you know, when, when you do need more labor, you can pick them up for a while and they can produce some output. But then when their output starts decreasing, you just get rid of them. And, um, it, basically keeps everyone else in line. You know, you see people that uh, are struggling with depression or other mental illnesses that aren't able to hold down a job consistently. And you might want to leave your job, but you're like, wow, no, I can't do that. Like, I got to keep doing this. I got to make this money from my boss, you know, because otherwise I'm going to be like that person living on the street or whatever. Uh, So, you know, I could probably talk about this a lot longer, uh, but I, I feel like it's getting into a bit of a rant now. So I'll just say that, 
you know, if you hear me, you know, being critical of a capitalist system, I think a lot of it is coming from this because my own life experience has shown me that it traps you. You get trapped into the situation and it makes the system money still, uh, but it, it sucks. It's really hard. It's, it's not enjoyable.